hey, don't go away. Having a really great relationship with the one you care about and love is extremely important. If you don't have the type of relationship you deserve and desire, then you can change it. Inside of you is the power to create the connections and love with those who matter the most to you. If this sounds like a fairy tale, it's not. You really do possess the power to have exactly everything you want from all the relationships you develop. My name is Jim Tate, and over the next few weeks, I'm going to be walking you along a path to improve your relationships with your significant other. Relationship coaching will give you a fresh perspective so you can overcome the challenges in your relationships. It will give you the tools you need to think outside of the box when you're faced with roadblocks in your relationships. Just about everyone enters into relationships missing the important tools they need for success. Usually the only references we have for our relationships are the ones we see growing up. Maybe those relationships work for those people, but what works for you? This is why the divorce rate is so high and why there are more single people today than there ever were before. You don't have to be unhappy in your relationship. You have the power to change it for the better. There is no reason why you can't have the relationship you desire. You just have to have the very best tools so that you can succeed. With relationship coaching, you'll gain the essential strategies and, and tools to help you achieve relationship fulfillment and success. By working with a relationship coach, you'll understand and learn just how to resolve your issues, enhance intimacy, um, improve communication, and build a relationship that will be invaluable to both of you. Relationship coaching isn't like mentoring, counseling, or therapy. Coaching is totally focused on forward movement in your life. Don't believe that just those with problems need relationship coaching because all couples can benefit from this kind of coaching. Coaching can help couples set clear and achievable goals while bringing the conflicts down to almost nothing. Couples will also learn to strengthen and build the trust within the relationship, making it that much more enjoyable. Relationship Re, sorry, relationship coaching is a journey. It isn't your final destination. I'll guide you to focus on long-term goals while improving your current relationship. As your coach, I won't be telling you that as a couple you're right, wrong, good or bad. My function is to guide both of you in a very positive direction moving toward overall improvement. Should you choose later to go for one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'll listen to both sides and be a neutral party giving insight to the places you can't see for yourselves. And this alone is extremely invaluable. As your coach, I can often see things that those in relationships can't see and then help you both design a plan of action. And when you begin implementing the skills and tools you learn in your coaching sessions, you'll start to see your relationship and yourself improving. What I'd like to go through you, with you uh, for, uh, for the next couple of minutes is really developing some intimacy in your uh, relationship. And if you look at intimacy as being into me see, there are seven kind of aspects of intimacy that we can look at in, in our relationships. And if we improve on these aspects, we'll see dramatic improvement in the relationship. We look at our emotional, the, the sort of emotional aspect, a closeness of feelings. Then the social aspect, having friends in common, intellectual aspects, sharing ideas, your recreational aspect, enjoying the same hobbies or sports, spiritual, having a similar, similar view in faith or, or, or the meaning of life, and aesthetic, sharing the same concepts of beauty, and then sexual, enjoying sexual experiences together. Now. What I'd like you to do is, for those of you lucky enough to find the link, there's a link down below this, uh, this video that will give you a, a PDF file with these questions. But for those of you that don't see this, the questions really are as follows. And, and, and you, the maximum benefit is to sit together with your significant other and go through these in a meaningful way. First one, what meanings am I aware of that make me feel close and intimate with my significant other? Really look at this, write them down, and then discuss them. Second one, what things am I aware of that hinder or are barriers to our intimacy? Again, write them down, and then sit and discuss them together. You might find it beneficial to write them down separately, and then come together and, and discuss them afterwards. The third one, what intimacy in our marriage would consist 
what sorry, what intimacy in our marriage would consist of for me is dot dot dot. Now fill in the blanks. The fourth one, remind your significant other of an intimate occasion you two shared, which you still remember as a special time of exceptional closeness. If you do this together, you'll get an experience of what the other felt was really, really intimate. And you might be able to use that to develop intimacy uh, a little further on. How can we regularly share feelings and make ourselves vulnerable is the fifth one. Again, might find it very, very useful to write these down and then discuss them together. Six one, ask your significant other, what is one thing I could do to meet your intimacy needs? And then, how will you implement that one thing? Tell your significant other, your partner, and ensure it will work for him or her. And if you forget to do that, this is the eighth one, you forget to do that one thing, how can your significant other remind or encourage you in a way that will work for you? Write it down and give it to your partner. It is your new play. Discuss it with your, with your partner and then make sure it all works for you. I hope this all worked for you. We'll catch you again next week. Enjoy.